Good morning, good evening, good night, Eagle MMA family. This is the problem with women's MMA. Women's MMA is so fucking boring. I swear to God, 98% of the time I'm watching these fucking fights, I am falling asleep. Oh. Holy shit, they're so fucking boring. And they're so fucking boring because they're so fucking terrible. They suck at fighting. I could beat up fucking uh, literally anyone on the WMA roster except for maybe Zhang Wei Li. Maybe Zhang Wei Li has a fucking chance. 99% of the women's MMA roster, I could kick the shit out of. I've taken three fucking jujitsu classes and done two cardio kickboxing classes. I'm just so much fucking stronger than them, it's not even fun to watch. Like, and even if they are getting into fucking brawls, it's like you're watching two chicks, like, throw hands at each other. Like, no one fucking wants to watch that. I want to see two chicks making out. I want to see them uh. half fucking naked, eating a cheeseburger, sitting on a fucking Ferrari or something. Right, and like they straight up suck too. It's like it's a joke in the fucking community. Like fucking Guru says it all the time. He stole it from me, by the way. He stole that from me. Right, like it's a fucking coin flip. Like these M WMMA fights are fucking coin flips. Like you can have the best fucking prospect you've ever seen in the women's fucking MMA division. You, they can go up to the fucking uh, you know, rank number ten, rank number fucking nine or something. They fight their first like real test, and they get fucking destroyed by some bum like Jin Yu Frey or some shit like that, dude. It's so fucking hard to predict. MMA is already hard to fucking predict, but these WMMA fights, like, I have a godly WMMA prediction rate. I think it's somewhere in, like, the, the fucking high 90s. But even that, it's not even fun fucking picking these fights because all you do is just fucking by decision, by decision, by decision, by decision. Oh, this chick has a lot of finishes. By finish. That's the only way you fucking pick these fights. If you go off what you've seen in the cage and by their general skill, you will never pick a women's MMA fight right correctly ever. It's all about how many fights they've had in the UFC and how many finishes they have. That's all you have to go pre uh, predict off of. Whoever has more finishes and whoever has more UFC experience wins 90 fucking percent of the time. That's why my predictions are so fucking good with WMMA, right? And that's not even the fucking worst part, right? The worst part is when they make it a fucking main event. I swear to God, if I see another fucking uh Blanchfield versus uh I don't even where the fuck she fought as a main event I never want to see that ever fucking again I get a sense of dread I get an impending feeling of doom when I see a women's main event that is in a title fight fight night like Grosso versus Shevchenko which should be pretty fucking decent right but every other time it's a fucking main event um I can't even think of the last fucking female um Mackenzie Dern versus Angela Hill really I fucking the lead up to that fight I was just depressed i was depressed i'm like why the fuck are they making this a main event let alone even making this fight in general the only reason people watch mackenzie dern is because she has a fat ass um the only reason people watch angela hill is because she's black and also has a fat ass that's the only reason i fucking watch these wma fights like if they were all wearing the valet tudo shorts and the only uh move that were was allowed in the fights was clinching up against the cage getting double unders then I would actually fucking watch, okay? If they're wearing lingerie or something, or it's like in a mud pit or something. Then I would actually fucking watch, not two chicks just fucking throwing these little arm pussy jabs and throwing their fucking right, right straights with their fucking flared ass elbows, dude. Like, like Juliana Pena fucking blitzes. Juliana Pena, by the way, unironically, one of the best strikers in WMMA. Have you seen this chick throw hands? She looks like a fucking retard out there, dude. Fucking uh, sh just running forward, fucking going like this, fucking chicken finger, whatever the fuck she's doing. I don't even know what the fuck she's doing, dude. I could kick the shit out of Juliana Pena, dude. Like even you're like some of these male UFC fighters talk about, like I think it was Sean Strickland, um, like grappled with that like six foot two fucking giga chad chick. And he's like on the ground, like she felt like some pussy. Like she, it's just not the same strength. Like why would I watch a literal inferior sport that isn't sexy? Like they're the, the only female fighters that I watch, Zhang Wei Li because she fights like a dude, okay? Uh, Joanna Pena because she's hot and she talks shit. And fucking uh, no one else, no one fucking else do I pay attention to in the women's, except for Alexa Grasso, Alexa Grasso because she's like, she's pretty. Um, but that's fucking it, dude. That's all I care about. That's one fighter in each division. That's not, uh, that's not even including featherweight, dude. Women's fucking featherweight. Get rid of that fucking division already. Amanda Nunes, uh, Amanda Nunes is already fucking out, dude. Take that fucking division out. You're losing like 200 grand a fucking year just having that division in there, right? It shows how fucking terrible WMMA is that there is a division that nobody cares about and that literally doesn't even, does not even have fucking rank. The only reason it was there was because Amanda Nunes uh, wanted to fight Chris Cyborg. That's the only fucking reason it was ever there. And it's useless now. There was no useless male division. There are four useless WMMA divisions.
but it's like stealing these fuck like like what is it uh it was amanda nunez versus irene aldana i fucking that card was so fucking terrible and i knew it was gonna be terrible i made a video about it a uh, joking about oh it's gonna be the greatest fucking card of all time and it absolutely lived up to my real expectations of how terrible this fucking card is gonna be um every single time there is a women's main event 90% of the time, 90 fucking 8% of the time, there's a women's main event. You are guaranteed it's going to be a terrible fucking fight card because you know the UFC is not going to waste a good card on fucking um, Mackenzie Dern versus Manon Fiora or whatever the fuck. Dude, I don't even, I don't think they're even in the same division and I don't give a shit. It's impossible to give a shit about women's MMA. They just fucking suck. Only some of them are hot. That's the only reason people fucking watch them. Think about the most popular fucking fighters in each division. They're the hottest. And it's like the greatest WMMA fight, which is probably Zhang Wei Li versus Yanni and Jacek, is like top 100 fights of all time. It's like the best WMMA fight is just like, oh, that's a good men's fight. It's like, okay, then why the fuck do we watch it? Like I straight up want to boycott WMMA. Like, fucking give me put him in all in invicta or some shit like that dude i'm not paying 80 fucking five dollars to watch amanda nunez play a range with irene aldana while irene aldana literally throws 10 strikes per round match like i'm not fucking paying for that you idiot it's bullshit it's a scam fucking get them out of here no one fucking like who who and this is a genuine question if this is a genuine question if you really get ex if if you comment down below if you really get excited for any women's main event ever even gross for shevchenko which should be fucking decent let me know because i fucking can't find a single person that gives a shit about women's mma except for fucking joe rogan because he's a soy beta cuck fucking crying about ronda rousey dude shut up dude i fuck up ronda rousey fucking uh julina rosa would fuck up ronda rousey dude like it's why am i watching a sport that's on paper inferior to mma to to men's mma like here's that we call it mma and w we don't even call it men's mma and w uh, women's mma we just call it mma and then women's mma is a separate fucking category because it's that fucking terrible and no one fucking watches it or cares about it just put him in fucking Invicta, make it like a separate, because I don't fucking, I don't, like, I like that they time these women fights for when I want a snack break or when, when I need to go take a piss or something. But it's fucking annoying when it's like, like, oh, it's a fucking women's fight, so I just don't have to pay attention. This is just a free, I can go make food or something. Like, sure, that's fucking nice, but why am I watching a full fucking card start to finish when half the card I'm making food because the women's fight is on, dude? It's bullshit. So stop making these fucking terrible main events, women's fights. Stop fucking pretending like they're good, okay? And I wouldn't beat 90% of the women's roster, 99%. And stop pretending that we're not just watching these women fighters because they're hot. And that's the only reason we care about any of these women's fights. So thank you guys for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know down below. Thank you all for watching. Eagle MMA out. Hey. Young Lean? Are you Young Lean? What? Are you Young Lean? Mm. No, I'm Barry Dillon. Mm. Uh, okay.